What's up, everybody? It's the Rogue in Disguise North American Community Contributor for World of Warships Blitz. And if this is your first time here or been here for a while, well, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and turn that bell to all to catch all that we do for World of Warships Blitz. And today, we're going to be talking something that's new hitting the waters of World of Warships Blitz, and that is going to be the FR-25. Now, the FR-25... According to the description, it's built in 1921. It's got 2,450 2, tons, 130 meters long, and about under 12 meters wide. Um, 17,667 hit points is pretty meh. About average for most destroyers within that tier. But getting back into the FR-25 itself, being an Italian premium destroyer for tier 7 um it's fair for its health pool just fair in general um max speed is 36.35 knots but it does have engine accelerator and we did get it up to about 43 knots afterwards time to full speed just under eight and a half seconds it's got 139 millimeter uh main guns which is pretty powerful for a uh, tier 7 destroyer um, 5.51 second reload time we got it down to after modifications. Max range of 9.26 kilometers is fair. Main battery high explosive damage, 449 with a 5% chance of setting a fire, but it does have semi-armor piercing rounds at 495 uh, with 150% citadel damage rate. It does have torpedoes, um, 550 millimeter torpedoes in a 2x3 facet with a 40 second reload time. 3,600 damage roughly and the torpedo range is just under seven kilometers slow i do wish it was a tad bit faster um 14 chance of setting a flood with the max speed of the torpedoes at 66.46 knots not that it compares to ign torpedoes at 66.69 but it's still pretty damn fast um, small caliber AE damage is all it's got for anti-aircraft armament, which is very poo-poo. We were able to get its surface detection down from almost 6 kilometers down to 5.37 kilometers, which is not too bad at all. As far as the details are concerned, you are going to get Engine Accelerator 3 and also Fuel Smoke 3, which is actually pretty nice, along with the SAP rounds. Uh, as far as the destroyer modernization is that what we went with it to get the max speed and the ship hit points increased we could have gone with the main battery reload um and the main traverse battery reload on it um our traverse speed excuse me to go a little bit faster uh, but we opted for the destroyer modernization for this particular build uh to emphasize on the speed um though elite gun operator is a very strong suggestion as well camouflages you're going to have two of them one of them is going to be the golden sun and the other one is going to affect your torpedo range while the other one works on the torpedo spe speed so it's really up to you which one you want to do they're both relatively the same if anything else between this historical and the unique permanent camouflage that's available for it Overall, I think it's kind of a fun ship. Um, we will demo this uh, ship on Monday um, and just have a little fun with it on Monday as we play with that. And we also play with uh, another ship that's coming out very shortly. So make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and turn that bell to all to catch all that we do for World of Warships. Plus on this channel, I'm the Rogue in Disguise. Make sure you check out the link in the description to catch all our social media platforms. Oh, but yes, until the next video, guys, don't do anything I wouldn't do twice. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary as well. And we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Have a good one.